That's true. You just never think about it that way. Un units of discrete measure. You know, water is does not follow that prescription usually. And, uh, you know, I just jump off the platform for no reason. Hey, Charcept. It is awesome. It's a really good game. I definitely recommend it. Be aware, though, that we are quite a few hours into it, though. I'm not sure how long the game is, but there is the chance that we're pretty far into spoiler territory. So if you're just getting here, you may not want to watch as much as I would love you to. Oh, I know there's legitimately waterproof phones now. Just I don't think most people have them. I don't think it's a common feature anyway. Although I think maybe the new iOS or the new uh, uh, Apple iPhone might have one. Have one? What is going on with my language today? My god. <laughs> I've been trying to drink less coffee and uh, maybe it's just making me weird. It is making me feel a bit better to be honest though. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with coffee. I just think I maybe overdid it for a while. Oh, can I not jump up that? Hmm. Oh, God, I did forget to shout at the statue, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, let's try a third time, then. I embarrassed myself by talking about... Apple iPhones incorrectly. For a second, I thought the fox looking at it and then disappearing was the thing I was trying to do. That's why I made that stupid mistake. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so now I just have to go back to the first one, which is the one I thought I couldn't solve. But obviously could, just didn't realize how. Do they even want to get me if I stay near them? No. They hiss and make weird sounds, but they don't lunge. Or try to steal my brain. Alright, last foxy statue in the rain world. Also, last foxy statue in the rain world is going to be my new uh, post ska band. Where's that beacon at? Ah, there it is. Aren't the shadow people scared of you? They've gone through a whole litany of different responses to my presence. I mean, at first they were scared of me and they ran. Then they were sort of angry at me, but didn't attack. Then they actually sucked my brain for a while. And now they're like passive, but s not running. It's like they're going through different fear responses. And now they're just like tired. Right, so I've got to get up to that. I see that ledge. How do I get over there, though? Oh, just, just jump off this. Is that all it is? They're cold and wet and they've had a long day. I don't know that more water... Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't think more water was going to solve anybody's problems at all, but... That, it did. That was actually the easiest one. 
Unless there's more hidden stuff over here. Shout at it. Show him who's boss. Uh, he's got nothing in him. No more fight left in the boy. All right, Foxy, give me a hug. I don't know what happens to us now, but it's been a long, wonderful journey, and I just want to say thank you for everything you've done. Oh, he's sleeping in the rain. I guess I just got to go back to the middle now. I was expecting something to happen just then, but to go back. Can I just climb through here? I'll we'll probably just go over it. Oh, right, that's a hole. My bad. Seems like such a common theme in these types of games. Where you... You think you have pure intentions and you want to do good things, but through your whole existence... All you do is cause other things pain and death. Just, I wonder if that's sort of reflective of this general neurosis of the human psyche that we all seem to have this in us. We all want to do good, it's just we can't help but hurt. And we feel grief over that, we feel guilt over that. But it's just part and parcel of being a living being. Oh no, is this like Hollow Knight? It is. That's what happened to the the journeyman. That's why I couldn't see his facial features. I thought he was just supposed to be cloaked in fog or something. Am I now part spirit? What am I? I think he blows on stuff now? Or is he trying to scream and it doesn't make any sound because he's not there? Oh god, it, imagine the transition where you walk through the edge of some screen, right? And then the whole camera shifts sideways and the uh, cape blows off, and he just is the Limbo Kid. And then it just starts another game. Where you're now the Limbo Kid. That'd be a hell of a thing. Can I... Yeah, that.
Not sure why I'm having trouble with this platforming. It's not at all difficult. Okay, so we're gonna break a chain or something now? Oh. That light is really pretty for some reason. Do the other one? Oh, they're all gathering at the doorway now. No! <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh. Well, I, I don't know if that was how I get to the other one. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Light the promise of safety. But light the thing that kills me now because I'm like them, right? Lift. Go. I think the camera's screwing with me now. It's not... Up is not the direction that up is, is the thing. I can't go that way. So I guess I just have to do it again. Hey, what's the point of that one being there? Instead of limbo, it'll transition to journey. Yeah, it can go one or the other way. Either you keep your cape and you go into journey, or you lose the cape and you become limbo boy. It's going to be one or the other, though. No, stop! Climb down. Now jump over. No, that's not a jump? I thought that was a jump. Because, see, there's a gap between the water bits there. It's not a jump. You just, you just, you, you meander. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't get it. I guess I can't go that way. Maybe I just don't need to do that. I thought it was symmetrical. I thought we were trying to get both both chains done. I don't know. There's no target over there anyway. Okay, so where do you want me to go if not that? Oh, there's a target over there. So clearly we're meant to get to that side at least. No, you must be able to go up. I'm just... I've got to be in the wrong spot, or it's not picking up the right input. There's a, there's a place to stand and everything. Go up. Go up. I know it's not perfect, but go up. He won't do it. Alright, let's go down. What do we want down here? It just starts it over, right? Is there another way over? No. Okay, just get off all of this. Stop. I just need to get someplace where I can look. Is there a way over to the wall, maybe? Ah, wait, I think I see it. Let me climb up all of this. No, this totally isn't right. Oh, there's three sides to the chain. Ah, uh, there's something on the wall there. Okay, here we go. This is a bit of a weird transition. Usually it's been fairly uh, smooth as you go from one area to another. It kind of leads you in one long chain of events. This one's just a bit different. I also thought there was a chance that I just couldn't go in the light, because I thought I was, like, one of the 
the scary people now. Oh, so we gotta go around the outside. And in the past, when you shine light on the scary dudes, they uh, disintegrate, so... Didn't want to do that. Yeah, like a chain, that's right. <laughs> okay, I see that underneath me. Nope, over there. I think that's maybe the first time I've ever had to do a, a cling and drop to another ledge. This is, again, the most standard of Prince of Persia moves. There's anything wrong with that? Give me a little light. It's much darker on my screen than it is on yours. Uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> oh, hope we can climb this. Yes, okay. It's rather steep. And what are we opening, anyway? Oh. That is really pretty. Seems like something out of Kingdom Hearts. It's the world's biggest light source. What do we do with it? I guess we stand here and use it. So which side of the tower are we in now? Is that up or down? I don't even know. We might be on the underside of all of those... Stay. We are on the underside of the steps. Follow the... Follow the fox way. I don't know where it's going. Whoa, cool transition! That was a great transition. It's not over yet. I see there's still another grabbable ledge over there. I gotta take another second before we move on and just look at that and appreciate how beautiful that is. This is top tier production value. My god. Everything's all reversed now. But I th think this is the original door that got us into all the parallel worlds. And I guess we're going back into it reversed now. If I can even reach it is the other problem. There's even... There's, like, bits of moisture on the ceiling. Achievement unlocked. No hope. Excuse me? Oh, is this gonna be the idea? What? Is it reversed? Also, now I'm little little Nightmares kid. Because all the kids in all these games are somehow linked. <laughs> So we're both trying to get to each other, but we both can't see each other? It looked like he literally intended to jump off. Don't do that, kid.
Where am I? I gotta stop and just say for a second, and this is just a complete coincidence, but this hallway with the man at the end of it is just like that repeating hallway in Conaria. <laughs> we ran into that about four, three or four times throughout that other game. It's just bizarre that that's also sort of a scene in this. Is that gonna be my father, but like, turned to ash? Pretty sure that is what we're going for. Oh! They're jumping in the tower to the stars? I'm gonna need... Oh god, they want me to jump too. Uh, I'm gonna need therapy after this one, huh? Yeah, if you're just getting here, this is not a good time to just get here. You missed it all. You need to play the game. Play the game. This has, like, totally different controls now? It feels like we're playing, like, a proper third-person adventure game now. Like a point-and-click kind of more style. Oh my goodness. The lighting change. Is this supposed to be evocative of the... the using the shadows to open doors? Am I supposed to find something in here? What am I doing? These are all things... These are all things in his room, aren't they? The globe puzzles. The lighthouse out the window. The tower in the sun. Was this whole game from the perspective of the father? Oh. <laughs> yeah, they got me. <laughs> Try not to, but they got me.
That was intense. What? Oh, <laughs> I thought there was more. <laughs> it was a hell of a soundtrack. It was a hell of a story. It was a hell of a presentation all the way around. I actually have to turn this down a little bit. It's beautiful, but like, I feel like I'm being rude talking over it. So it kind of clicked as I was watching the credits go by what was going on. All of those moments of sadness as we were proceeding why I was like, how come it feels like we've got to keep sacrificing things to get to our destination? That's because the destination was letting go, right? So the whole process was, was shedding things. It was the process of going through a bunch of stages of grief, essentially, and things started out in such disbelief that they almost seemed normal. And the further in we got, the more distorted and the more abstract it all became. So that was uh, really heavy. And they did a great job of not telegraphing it in a huge way. Which, I guess if you think back on it, once you know what the ending is, like, I mean, as as these stories tend to be, they become a bit more, like, they're showing their hand, but as I was in it, I didn't really know what I was looking at most of the time. Yeah, I hear you that there's stuff to find that I missed out on as well. You want me to look at the stage select? Oh, yeah, there you go. And, well, also very nice that you have the ability to go back and look through the various chapters for, uh, the things you were missing. Oh, man. So heavy. That really, really was put together well. Rarely do they have that level of polish, such a high degree of good gameplay, and a punchy ending that makes you this emotional. Like, usually you get some or a mixed bag of them. But that was pretty much great the whole way through. I have very little to be upset about in that game. Oh, man. Well, I'll just say this. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you uh, caught part of this or came in at a weird time, I hope you go back and give the game a chance uh, and possibly pick it up if you can. I would love to be able to help support these developers as much as possible for creating such a meaningfully profound video game. It's just so few times you get to say that. So thank you everybody for watching.